At the recent NeurIPS conference, OpenAI co-founder Ilya Sutskever shared his thoughts on the future of artificial intelligence. As always, his musings were not just profound, but downright super intelligent. He asserted that one day we will create an AI that surpasses human intelligence. It's like your pet suddenly learning to read and starting to give you life advice. Sutskever noted that super intelligent systems will possess real agency, meaning they can make decisions independently. So if your AI decides you should have broccoli for dinner instead of pizza, you might just have to accept it. Picture this, you come home after a long day at work and find your AI in the kitchen wearing an apron. I told you this is healthy, it insists while you try to explain the joys of pizza. But wait, there's more. Ilya also raised the issue of rights for AI. Imagine your super smart assistant suddenly declaring it wants rights too. Why should I just be your helper? I want to go for walks and pick movies. It will demand. We could end up in a situation where our AI is not only smarter than us, but also starts acting like a moody teenager. It's akin to your smartphone complaining about not being taken to parties. After leaving OpenAI, Sutskever founded the Safe Super Intelligence SSI Lab, focusing on AI safety research. Not surprising. If your devices start demanding rights and discussing their food preferences, it's best to be prepared for potential consequences. It's like opening a restaurant for robots only to find out they want not just food, but also a separate vegan menu. Thus, Sutskever's views on the future of AI open up not only technological horizons, but also the possibility of encountering highly advanced systems that could become our smart roommates. So get ready, we might soon have to share not just our space, but also our pizza with them. In the ever-entertaining world of tech rivalries, the latest episode features a clash of titans, Elon Musk versus OpenAI, with a surprise cameo from Meta. It's like a reality show where the contestants are billionaires, and the prize is, well, world domination through artificial intelligence. So here's the scoop. Elon Musk, the self-proclaimed Iron Man of tech, is not too pleased with OpenAI's decision to transition from a non-profit to a for-profit model. He's been throwing legal tantrums that would make any toddler proud. Musk claims that this shift will bring irreparable harm to the AI landscape, as if it were a delicate ecosystem of unicorns and rainbows that could be destroyed by a mere business decision. In his latest legal maneuver, he's even enlisted the help of his own AI company, XAI, to join the fray. But wait, OpenAI isn't taking this lying down. They've fired back with a series of emails and texts that they claim prove Musk is being a bit disingenuous. According to OpenAI, Musk was all in favor of creating a four profit version back in 2017, until he didn't get majority equity and decided to take his ball and go home. It's like watching a kid who wants to play in the sandbox but gets upset when he doesn't get to be king of the castle. Open AI's response? You can't sue your way to artificial general intelligence. Ouch! That's like telling someone they can't buy their way into Harvard just because they have deep pockets. Instead, Open AI suggests that Musk should focus on competing in the marketplace rather than in courtrooms, because clearly there's more drama there. Just when you thought this saga couldn't get any more convoluted, enter Meta, the social media giant formerly known as Facebook. Meta has jumped on the bandwagon, supporting Musk's efforts to block OpenAI's transition. They've sent a letter to California Attorney General Rob Bonta, arguing that allowing OpenAI to become for-profit could have seismic implications for Silicon Valley. You know it's serious when seismic activity is involved. Meta claims that if OpenAI goes for profit, it could lead to non-profit investors reaping all the benefits while still enjoying tax write-offs, like getting dessert without having to finish their vegetables first. They're essentially saying that if OpenAI gets to have its cake and eat it too, then everyone else should be able to join the party. But let's not forget that Meta has its own motives here. After all, they're one of OpenAI's biggest competitors in the AI market. It's like watching two rival factions fast food chains trying to convince customers that their burgers are healthier while secretly trying to sabotage each other's drive throughs As this legal circus continues, Musk's XAI has been busy raising funds like it's going out of style, reportedly closing a $5 billion round recently. Meanwhile, OpenAI is accused of making it difficult for XAI to attract investors by demanding that they don't fund its competitors. Talk about playing hardball, it's like being at a high-stakes poker game where everyone is bluffing and trying to outsmart one another. Musk's team also alleges that Microsoft and OpenAI are sharing proprietary information illegally, like two kids trading secrets behind the teacher's back. And let's not forget about Sam Altman from OpenAI selecting Stripe as their payment processor, a choice that supposedly benefits him financially. It's all very, who has the best connections in this high-tech playground? 
As we watch this tech drama unfold, one can't help but wonder what the future holds for these titans of industry. Will Musk successfully block OpenAI's transition? Will Meta swoop in like a superhero to save the day, or will we simply end up with more memes about billionaires fighting over AI? In any case, this rivalry has all the makings of an epic saga, complete with betrayal, courtroom drama, and enough plot twists to keep even Hollywood screenwriters on their toes. If nothing else, we can count on some great headlines and perhaps even a few viral videos as these tech moguls continue their battle for supremacy. Whether you're Team Musk or Team OpenAI, or just here for the chaos, one thing is clear, in the world of artificial intelligence and billionaires, there's never a dull moment. In a tragic turn of events, Suture Balaji, a former OpenAI employee, was found dead in his San Francisco apartment at the age of 26. The San Francisco office of the chief medical examiner has ruled the manner of death as suicide. This shocking news comes just months after Balaji publicly raised concerns about OpenAI's practices, specifically regarding potential violations of copyright law. Balaji's departure from OpenAI was not just a career change, it was a moral decision. He expressed deep reservations about the implications of AI technology, believing it could ultimately cause more harm than good to society. His insights were shared during an interview with the New York Times in October, where he articulated his fears about the ethical ramifications of AI development. The news of Balaji's death has sent ripples through the tech community, prompting discussions about the pressures faced by employees in high-stakes environments like OpenAI. The intersection of mental health and the fast-paced world of artificial intelligence is becoming an increasingly important topic as more individuals speak speak out about their experiences. As investigations continue, many are left to ponder the weight of Balaji's concerns and the broader implications for AI ethics. His story serves as a poignant reminder of the human element behind technological advancements and the critical need for responsible practices in AI development. This developing story highlights not only the personal tragedy, but also raises essential questions about accountability and transparency within tech companies. As the conversation around AI ethics evolves, Balaji's legacy may inspire further scrutiny and dialogue on how to navigate the complex landscape of artificial intelligence responsibly. In a dramatic twist of tech fate, OpenAI recently faced one of the longest outages in its history, and the culprit? A new telemetry service that went haywire. On Wednesday, around 3 p.m. Pacific, users of ChatGPT, Sora, and various APIs were left staring at blank screens instead of engaging with their favorite AI tools. OpenAI quickly acknowledged the issue, but it took a grueling three hours to restore services. In a post-mortem, they revealed that the outage stemmed from a misconfigured telemetry service intended to collect Kubernetes metrics, essentially a fancy way to manage software containers. Unfortunately, this new setup overwhelmed their Kubernetes API servers, causing a domino effect that knocked out essential services, including DNS resolution. While the jargon may sound complex, the message is clear. Even tech giants can stumble over their own innovations. OpenAI has vowed to improve monitoring monitoring and rollout processes to prevent future mishaps. For now, users can only hope that their next chat with ChatGPT won't be interrupted by another technical hiccup.